Meanwhile, higher regulations mean higher costs. The burritos and Big Macs are going to cost more in California because minimum wage in the state just jumped $20 an hour. All of that's happening in April. And that will find its way to you. Fat Brands chairman and founder Andy uh, Wiederhorn joins us now. Andy, thank you so much. Curious about how you see in your business higher uh, wages, if you have to pass that on to the consumer, is the consumer handling that? Well, uh, the consumers who are voters must have known what they were getting into by promoting this legislation to raise, raise the minimum wage from you know, 15 to $20 and on its way to $25. And look, everyone wants their employees to make more money, but it just costs and someone's got to pay for it. And the restaurant operators don't have the margin for that. So prices are going to go up. Andy, you've got the McDonald's CEO talking about affordability. Everybody thinks of that brand and thinks of a cheap meal, a fast meal. Um, having said that, we know that Big Mac combos are running roughly $18, um, and it's not a surprise when you see minimum wage at 20 but there's so much pressure on the fast food chain to bring that price down. Even President Biden calling out the grocery chains and saying, bring your prices down or we'll call you out. In some cases, they can't do it and still run a business, can they? There's no way. I mean, look, a restaurant operator makes anywhere from 5 to 15% in the bottom line at the end of the day. And if, you, if your labor cost is one-third of your cost, so 30%, and you raise the wage from 15 to 20 or $25 over the next couple of years, you're almost doubling that cost. And so they're going to have to raise prices. I mean, there, there are things you can do as an operator to promote value. You know, for, just as an example, you could do an all-cheese pizza instead of a pepperoni pizza or mm. barbecue chicken pizza. Things like that. You can control your portion size. You can use a little bit of technology. But look, we're still in the hospitality business, and the guest experience has to be number one. I mean, as we return from COVID to dining rooms and dining out and, and even to go food, I mean, the guest wants a good experience, and that just costs money. Uh, Andy, thank you very much for that. We appreciate your thoughts on a really important subject and one that a lot of people's livelihood depends on, frankly. Thanks for being with us.